Oh, here we go. Yeah, finally we can get this sword. I forgot what it was called originally, but now, yeah, Red Eagle's Bane. Jeez. You know, someone else in the distant future, some fucking future prisoner bound by prophecy is gonna find this, like, laying in a pile of junk somewhere. They're like, oh my god, it's that legendary artifact, Red Eagle's Bane. It's what was used long ago to slay the Draugr version who rose from the, the dead or whatever, rose from an eternal slumber. It, this was what was needed to, to kill that motherfucker and, and save all of Skyrim land. No, it wasn't. I'm the one who did it with my fucking custom enchanted fucking hand axe. This thing, Red Eagle's Bane, it's a glorified door key. <laughs> When we had last left the last dragonborn, at the behest of the Jarl of Markarth did they travel out further north in the northern reaches of the Reach, <laughs> where they reached, <laughs> good lord, how many times can I say that word, where they reached Hag's End, and they were meant to wipe it clean of the Forsworn Menace, who as it turned out were plotting to somewhat soon attack Markarth and dethrone the usurpers and once again claim the city for the Reachmen, who also were now the Forsworn? Or perhaps partially were, right? <laughs> anyway, the last Dragonborn went there, wiped them all out. There was a hag as well who was teleporting around, wiped the fucking floor with that hag just as well. And now, it was time to go get a cool sword and return back to Markarth. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. <gasps> there we go. And let's continue heading on out of here, huh? There we go. Maybe, you know what? We should have just jumped off the side. Right? <laughs> like we always do. I don't know. Oh, shit. Especially with this right here. You know what? Couldn't... Well, no, because it was kind of in a basin, wasn't it? Yeah, it may not work out. Oof. Jesus. Doing that every time. Makes my butt clench up a bit. Okay. How the hell do we even get out of here? Do I even remember? I'm not sure if I do. Oh dear lord. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's see. Let's get our whirlwind sprint there at the ready. Cool. And we did look... Did we ever look down here? I remember we tried blowing at him. Yeah, we never looked down here. One gold and an ebony dagger. Neat. Okay. Anything else of value? Any like iron ore veins? Stuff like that? Forsworn ravager or forager, even. There we are. Good. Okay. Now let's haul ass on out of here. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. Okay, up this way. Oh, jeez. Running over booby traps left and right. Honestly, you know what? It's got to be said, the Forsworn and the Hags, the Witches, they did pretty well, right? They fared quite fucking well against all of the booby traps, you know? It's like normally <laughs> what happens is you find a place filled with shit like that and there's just like piles and piles of corpses you know, just like a million dead adventurers all falling prey to various booby traps all over the place, right? And typically in places that are very crucial for you to find them in, right? To let you know, to sort of um, have some signposting for the, the dragonborn to see, oh, this right here, this is actually completely booby trapped. All right, good looking out, dead adventurers of yore. <laughs> but these Forsworn, the, uh, the hags and witches, they, they managed to get around it, you know? Maybe they did have what it took to uh, take on Markarth, right? If it weren't for the fucking Dragonborn showing up, right? Jeez and Pete. All right. Let's see over here. You know what would be fucking rad? If, like, there were an endgame upgrade or whatever to Whirlwind Sprint to where, you know what? Like, imagine I'm up here. And I want to just fucking go to High Hrothgar. I look right there, and then... Boom! Ah! 
I'm there. Wow, I almost died from that. I did not think we would fall that far. Okay. There we go. Hey, let's just uh, or restoration XP. I almost said destruction. Okay, down over here. God, you know that would be a fucking dope ass upgrade to have in a game like this, right? Especially, <gasps> especially with all the the new consoles and stuff running off of SSDs. Have you seen the fucking Ratchet and Clank stuff where they load really quick? Oh my God, could you imagine? Maybe it's some kind of, like, magically enchanted, like, telescope. You look to a distant location, and then you're able to instantly warp there. Oh, and then that would... You could have, like, very interesting repercussions with your open world design, right? If you wanted to factor that in. Or just keep it, as, like I said, as an endgame sort of reward or whatever, right? You only get for beating, like, the main quest or some shit. Something along those lines. But you could have, like, oh yeah, down here where you're in a ravine. It's very difficult to navigate out of it using your telescope or whatever, right? I don't know. Pretty cool. Have, like, mountain ranges cut something off, right? Have there be, like, a really weird and important area that's just surround- that's like a crater? Oh, man. What a great idea, honestly. Alright. Someone feel free to take it. Okay. Let's go on over here. Though, isn't that always one of the issues, is like... I don't know, is, is that the case with video games so much? Because video games are so iterative. But I always hear, like, that's one of the problems with, like... Um... Like, I follow a few TV writers and shit on Twitter. And one of the things that they dislike is... Random people who will just show up... And they're there to, like, pitch an idea for a show or whatever, right? Because if you hear that... For some reason, there's some sort of issue with litigation, right? If you hear the pitch, like, you you can't use it or you can't, like... I don't know. It gets murky. There's something to do with where, like, it, it's very complicated, right? Very complicated. And they rather just not have to go through all the rigmarole. So I've been led to believe. <laughs> right? Who can say for sure? Okay. Let's go on up here. Look, there's a little shack over here just as well. What could it be? Should we investigate it real quick? Should we investigate that Dragon Bridge town? I don't know. We're already getting kind of far off from it. Maybe we'll do that when we go around for the Wolf Queen shit, right? Let's see. What is this? A little mining village or what? Oh, I think it might be a bandit camp. Oh, no, wait. There's a... Is that person right there? What is that? It looks like a person. Like, laying down or something. Are they dead? What in the world is that? Oh, look, there's someone sitting down there. Is that a corpse? Okay. Cliffside retreat. Oh, this is serene as hell. Huh. Oh shit! Oh no, it didn't work right! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Never okay, come hang, on, here. hang on, hang on, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, I yield, I yield, I yield, I yield, I yield to you! I yield to you! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I guess at least they're just a regular hunter, right? Oh fuck. They had to have like the stickiest fucking ass in all of Tamriel, right? I'll show you what a real Jesus, is. didn't even go flying, just kind of like slung God, themselves no. backward. Alright, you know what? We're gonna get it. We're, we're gonna get That's it. We're gonna it? do it. That's all you got? Alright. Oh, shit. Ooh! Oh, Gorbosh! Did he make it? He lives to see another day! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right. I wonder if that counts as murder because we killed them via fall damage. I don't know. All right. Over here. Marksmanship lesson. Did we ever read this in Skyrim land? I guess we have. Okay. A steel dagger, cave, bear pelt. Whole bunch of pelts. All right. You know what, just in case it counts as murder, let's quick load. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in that shit just yet, right? I'd rather not. 
Let's see. Oh, jeez. Need to do this old chestnut again. All right. Hey. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. Take a look. Here. Take some of this junk. Whew, you do not have much money at all. Okay. I'll buy a couple picks, though. Need that. See you. Okay. You got anything else on you? Worth taking? What are you doing that for? Oh, sorry. I wanted to level it up. Anytime I see someone out in the middle of nowhere, it's just an opportunity to level up my, my pickpocket a bit. Alright, do you actually have like a little secret stash around here? Oh look, there's something up there. Or is that... No, it's just a... It's a trick of the light. Jeez, your roof isn't really quite finished. There's like a shitload of holes in it. <laughs> I mean, this is a gorgeous, like, vista, right? Gorgeous view ahead, but... Good God, man, finish your roof. What are you gonna do when it rains? I love these little homes just kind of, like, out in really scenic areas. Like, remember, similar to this, there was one, uh, the crab area, right? For the crabber? Is that what you called them? A mariner, maybe? No. A crabber. A crabman. I don't know. But there was also the alchemist out by um, the throat of the world and and Riften, right? Remember at, like, the base of the mountain? Oh, jeez. There's also some sort of terrible nightmare cave as well. Okay, we're fine. Let's see. Let's. We've still got our whirlwind sprint, so we're good in that regard. All right. Uh, here we are. Is this what we want? No, we want to head up even further, right? This is our usual fare that we find. We need to actually circle around via the... what? Rebel's Cairn? Is that it? I think so. Oh no, we need to go through Red Eagle Redoubt, don't we? Oh Christ, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, can I zoom in here, move this, like so. Huh? Eh, that's good enough. Okay, cool. What direction should we circle around this, though? I'm thinking the western end, right? I'm trying to remember how exactly we got up there in the first place, and didn't we... We totally went up there horseback, didn't we? <laughs> Which is gonna be a little problematic, huh? We don't exactly have another horse handy. Oh shit. Look, some nice stuff. I've got encumbrance to spare. Grab all these goodies. Oh, that is not hanging moss at all. Yo, what's down here? Some nightshade. Hmm. You know, if I didn't know any better... Well, actually, I guess I don't know any better. But I would say this looks like a treasure chest area, right? Looks like there's going to be some goodies hidden down here. Huh? Is there anything down here? If I were some wild-ass <gasps> man, I'd... I'd nah. put a whole bunch of cool shit down this area. Draw up a treasure map and all that. Okay, well, maybe I'm just the wildest fucking man in all of Skyrim, then. <laughs> maybe that's me. Maybe I am the wild man. Here, should I put something there? Should I lay a treasure? Let's see. What, what kind of treasures do I have? Leave it here for a future adventurer. Let's see. What do I have? <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't know. How about... Well, no, I kind of want to keep that. Uh, how about a useless potion? There. Almost a thousand gold. Useless, but valuable. Whoa! No! Oh, over this way. Got some ore here. It looks like... Eh, it looks like iron, and it is. There we go. Look, here's our real treasure. Good, good, good. Ooh, Gorbosh. Find a crab lord. Oh gosh, I'm about... Oh no, wait, that's Gordon. Okay. Oh shit. Where's the other one at? Ooh, it's like munching on him. Gorbosh, get out of the water! This is not the time to be swimming with a crab. It's a battle crab. Here we are. I didn't think I got the soul trap off. Okay. 
Are there more crabs on you, dude? <laughs> I don't see any. Okay, okay. There's one over here, though. Boom. Beware, Crabulon. Let's, let's take your amazing chitin. Cool. Hanging moss? There we are. Got some of that time. Alright, do I still have Whirlwind Spring? Because we may need to do it to fight the current. You know? Let's see. Let's go up here. Nah! Oh. Okay, I didn't expect to go to the complete other side of the river, but honestly, it works. It works great. Okay, I think we want to ascend right there, right? I think we want to go up right there. There's like a nice little path or whatever. Some lovely level designer thought of me <laughs> exactly in this moment. Oh, look, what a serene little like cobblestone path. Oh, look, isn't this just fucking gorgeous right here? Look at this! What an amazing bit of, like... What an amazingly composed shot! Right? If, if only I could, like, fly up in the air a little bit, turn on no clip and all that. Just get a perfect vista right there. Oh! Beautiful. Alright. Let's see. Let's head on over here. You know for sure. Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, they're gonna have photo modes, right? They have to. Fucking Fallout 76 has got a photo mode, right? Definitely gonna have a photo mode in those suckers. Alright. Because that's usually how I get my screenshots. I go into, like, no clip mode. I toggle the UI and all that business. You know how it is. Alright, unless I'm, like, really in a rush, in which case... <laughs> I did this in, like, a... Oh, shit. In the early days of Morrowind. But that said, in like, of Morrowind Chapter 1, I should say, Morrowind Monday's Chapter 1, the Sound and Graphics Overhaul Chapter, I did this. But, the, like I said, the first 10, I overrode. I, I redid them, because they were so shoddy. But, uh, what I would do is I would just take a still from the video, and <laughs> I would Photoshop out my, my crosshairs and shit. <laughs> and I realized... Man, you know what? This is a lot of work for a picture that just does not even look that good. <laughs> right? <laughs> I thought to myself, come on, man. What, what happened to you? What happened? You used to take screenshots of games all the time and post them on Steam to annoy everybody on your friends list with fucking random ass screenshot uploads. Good lord, what happened, man? And then you know what? It lives on again. It continues. Let's see. Is this our... Is this our redoubt? Ooh, it is. Beautiful. Alright. Over here. Surely we didn't get response yet. Oh my god, are you kidding? For real? This is not them. This, oh my gosh, look how fast I fucking go. Can I even sprint? Oh my gosh, I'm just full speed. I'm a full speed shield man. Look at me go. Oh, this is good. Look at that. Wow, it really goes to show just how how little coverage you get with the, the shield and all that, right? I guess on the bright side with this round shield, it's got some some width to it, right? It's really just your legs you gotta watch out for. Okay, should we get into this? Absolutely. A few things more valuable to us than iron, right? And most of those things are alchemical ingredients, you know? Healing potion. Take that. Anything else around here? Just a big thing of blood. Nasty as shit. Alright. Let's go up in here. For all we know, fucking Red Eagle is back. Still kicking once more. Alright. I'll put you down again. Easy enough. Is this even the right place? Or do we have to go further up? What the hell? Someone there. Who the fuck am I? Over here. This ain't the place, is it? Hey, what's that gonna do? Ooh! Okay. Let's see. Unrelenting force. Good. Dude, what place is this? Uh-oh. We got our rumble tunes popping off. Ultimate healing. I mean, we we had it marked off as cleared, right? Okay. 
Look at this. I can just run around with my shield up. Look at that. I don't even give a damn. Over here. Right. You're just a basic ass force. Good lord, the archer lords are very powerful. Fuck me. It, there we are. Nothing. Good. Whew. That's a fucking spicy meatball, huh? Okay. Oh, I'm a fool. There we are. Plentiful magicka, an ebony bow. No thanks. Don't need it. Let's see. Over here. It did say that we had cleared this out, right? Red Eagles Redoubt? What kind of a weird place is this? Oh, this is the Ascent, isn't it? I guess this will lead into it. Hmm. Maybe we were originally intended to go through this, but we skipped over it by way of horseback. Right? So you know what? It worked out that we came back here. Going through all this. Look, is there going to be a secret treasure here? Shit. There's not. All right. Look. There's the eagle. Kaka! <laughs> That's, that's the noise. Oh, there's a battle axe, orcish helmet. Neat stuff. Neato. Anything else around here? You know what's weird? I've caught myself saying neat-o a lot recently. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. You know what? I kind of like it. Maybe I'm bringing back the neato. All right. Oh, look. Is it? No, it's just some rocks. Okay. Dude, I'm loving the, like, high-speed shields up maneuver, right? Good lord. I can't wait until we get the final power, the final upgrade to it. Ooh, I'm so thrilled for that. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Alright. Let's get some more of these shroomages. Beautiful. Alright. Over here. Speaking of, of saying neato and, and new stuff like that. Huh? Oh shit. Yeah, they must have come back? Or what? I don't know. Maybe this is just yeah. a... Oh, Shazbot. Well, that was great. I tried to get two for one, and I got none for one. Okay. Back the fuck down, you fucker! Oh, yeah. Alright. But someone wrote in a few days ago saying... Or, I guess weeks now at this point. Saying that, um... <laughs> they found themselves, like, in the store or something. And... They never, they would never have done this before, but they were in the, like, produce area or whatever, and they saw mushrooms and mentally thought, oh yeah, shroomages. They're like, I never did that before I started watching these fucking videos. <laughs> I don't know. Something about that that I like. All right. Over here. Oh, shit. It's like sometimes my, uh, my girlfriend... <laughs> will use some of the same mannerisms as I as I do, and I'll be like, hey, you, you took that from me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's never gonna happen. Look. Look at this. We're gonna do it. P.I. Look, I only need P.I. Okay. What should I even use here? This one, because we're a little tired. <laughs> so then potions are like 50% effective or whatever the hell. Good god. I should have put on the amulet. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're putting on the fucking amulet. Let's see here. Major lockpicking. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Does it change every time I, I enter and exit the UI? I think it may. It totally does. Oh, Shazbot. Okay. Ooh! Yes! Alright. Four picks. Almost made back our expenditure there. I don't think it was even close, was it? <laughs> Alright. Let us re-equip our emerald. Delightful. Okay. Let's continue on up here. 
Look at this. I feel like I'm hacking with this, like, high-speed shields up. Fuck. Look at me go. Uh, uh. Completely unabated. Now all I need to be able to do is, like, block and press space. And then just start doing a fucking wild-ass dodge roll, you know? Okay. Over here. Let's see. Anything else? Got some tankards. A little tent set up. Okay. You know, given the, like, modus operandi of the Forsworn, I'm surprised they even bother to, like, you know, get the the hide all, like, properly treated and everything. What do you call it? Tanning? Curing? Stuff like that? Getting the blood off of it? I'm surprised they don't just, like, have bloody-ass tents all over the place, just stinking up the place, you know? Fuck, they got enough blood everywhere else. Shit. Okay. This is definitely the place, right? Because that's where we freed old... Old Jimmy. <laughs> old... Old Boethia Bob. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Grab some shroomage. Lovely. And... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just doing it for fun. I'm just subconsciously doing it. This is... I don't know. It's just tickling a part of my brain. <laughs> Just every time I'm like, ooh, this is fun. I'm having fun now doing this. <laughs> Yo, how do I get in now? I don't even remember. Oh, jeez. Was it down and around here? Is there like a big door? Oh, fuck. Okay. 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 We're fine. Like, is this... Is this gonna lead me to victory? Or something? No. Hmm. Where is the entry point at? Oh, fuck. We don't have our quest guide either. Alright. Let's see. I don't have it as, like, a miscellaneous task or whatever, do I? No, I do not. Okay. We'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Fucking A. <laughs> Where could it be? Let's see. Maybe it really is one of these, like, Rebel's Cairn or whatever. Broken Tower Redoubt. It might actually be Rebel's Cairn, now that I think of it. Right? Let's see. Let's head on over. Is it marked as cleared? It is. Which lends credence to this theory. Oh, shit. Alright. You know what? It's fine. Do you notice the little bits of uh, particle effects, the grass and stuff kicking up? I like that. Okay. Let's see, there's a whole bunch of weird shit clinking and clanking all over the place. So this is it, isn't it? This is it. Oh, I think this is it. What a mood. It's so moody in here. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, finally we can get this sword. I forgot what it was called originally, but now, yeah, Red Eagle's Bane. Jeez. You know, someone else in the distant future, some fucking future prisoner bound by prophecy is gonna find this, like, laying in a pile of junk somewhere. They're like, oh my god, it's that legendary artifact, Red Eagle's Bane. It's what was used long ago to slay the Draugr version who rose from the, the dead or whatever, rose from an eternal slumber. It, this was what was needed to, to kill that motherfucker and, and save all of Skyrim land. No, it wasn't. I'm the one who did it, with my fucking custom enchanted fucking hand axe. This thing, Red Eagle's Bane, it's a glorified door key. <laughs> I did it, not this shit. It was me. <laughs> it, it wasn't a Bane. It should have just said Red Eagle's door opener. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, what does it even do? Oh, we didn't even check Bloodthorn, did we? Which has a custom enchant. If target dies within three seconds, Fills a soul gem. That's pretty useful. Undead up to level 13 are set on fire and flee for 30 seconds. That's significantly less useful. Also, the bloodthorn. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's not that useful either. That said, the base damage is pretty decent. Isn't it? No, it's only five. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> They're both pretty bad. But I gotta have them, right? Fuck it. We went back for fucking Zephyr. I gotta have him. All right. An orc follows to the death. Fine. Let's trade then. Let's see, dude. What can you take? 
Huh. I'll take a couple of bones off of you. How much does this thing weigh? 15? Okay. Yeah, we'll take two bones just to be safe. Like we've said before, the bones... Eh. It's fun to have them around, but we don't really need them at all. Look, we got some things that need transmuting. Oh, there we go. Dude's full up. Malakath, witness our deeds. Oh, he said that so kindly. With such a... <laughs> with such kindness in his voice. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Gorbosh. Oh, I hope Malakath witnesses us as well. You know what? Malakath really did witness me a while back. There was a guy who, like, flew into the stratosphere and everything. It was pretty weird. And Malakath... Malakath did want me to kill that man. Right, Malakath's a little... I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's definitely an interpretation of it to where, man, you deserve better than Malakath. <laughs> there we go. Good. All right. Though sometimes Malakath is nice enough, right? I guess it depends on <laughs> on the mood of Malakath, right? If you catch Malakath on a good day, you know what? All's well. All right, let's get rid of this marker, because we need to finally get our keister back to Markarth. Holy shit. All right, let's see, let's hide all that. And let's get our whirlwind sprint at the ready. Cool. So all of our markers on our map, yeah, lead us back to Markarth. Beautiful. What time of day is it? Ooh, 627. There we are. Good. Head on down here. Some nice, big units of steps just all over the place. Fucking eat your heart out, High Hrothgar. There we go. Alright. Lovely. Cool, cool, cool. Is there anywhere else that we would like to stop along the way? Not in particular, right? Yeah, because I don't really want to send Gorbash off just yet. You know? Okay. Ooh. Got some silver ore here. Oh, right. I need to be transmuting shit, don't I? Jesus. There we go. Good. Ooh, it's gotten really cloudy. Okay, let's clear skies. There we are. And let's get our transmutation here at the ready. Get rid of that overcast. There we go. Nice golden sunshine all the way through. <laughs> Fuck, I love that, man. Good lord. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, honestly, you're one of the greats. <laughs> golden sunshine all the way through. This cloud cover, it's going to burn off by the afternoon. <laughs> and we're going to have golden, beautiful sunshine all the way. <laughs> I think all the way through, right? I think so. I think that's it. All right. Let's see down here. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm just going to fucking jump down like a fucking wild man. All right. Here we go. Look. See, I am the wild man. It's me. Become ethereal. There we go. I don't know why Fine. that always throws me off. I guess because of the icon or something, right? What do we think? Respawns here? No? No such thing. Maybe they never respawn here at Kurthspire. But I don't I don't think that's true. I think I remember them respawning for sure. Ooh, I'm hungry. Munch on some salmon. Good. Yeah, they're still dead as hell. Maybe they do respawn, but it's just unlikely because of the distance of this area relative to Markarth. So it doesn't get a chance to reset as frequently. Because if you're traveling around the Reach and all that, odds are you're going to be coming and going from Markarth quite a bit. So maybe the cell is close enough to where it doesn't reset, right? Forget what the timer is and what the distance it even is. But there's something to do with that. Well, nah! All right. Beautiful. Okay, should we stow away our little unit here? Oh, look. Let's get a Crabulon. My power pick! Good. Take some of that delicious chitin. Or, sturdy chitin. I'm not eating it. 
<laughs> I'm not eating it, I swear. All right. Let's see. There we are. Get some more silver ore. Lovely. Whirlwind sprint still active. Good shit. Nah! What do you think? We find, uh... Well, no, we're, we're a bit far away from that area, right? We probably won't find a plague victim. We may find, like, a Vigilant of Stendar. You know? There was someone walking on the road back there, but they looked like... They didn't look like a Vigilant. There we are. Good. Oh. All capped out. Or maxed out, even. I don't like the sound of you drawing your weapon like that, friendo. Makes me worried that there's some kind of vicious beast that's gonna lunge out at us. <laughs> it's happened before with fucking saber cats and shit. You know? It's happened before, it's liable to happen again. Alright. I think we're good, though. Oh, look at the sun shafts, or I guess in this case, the moon shafts. Gorgeous. Man, the skybox. It's really fucking something, huh? You know? Oh, Bethesda, they really do make a nice skybox, huh? Ever since... Well, shit, maybe there were good ones, too, in, in Daggerfall. I have no idea. Right? I don't know. Default Daggerfall skybox? Like you doing out here? Go <laughs> God, he said milk mother. drinker and made me say, Box! <laughs> Alright. How about this, you fucking milk drinker? There we go. How do you like that? Yeah, now you're the one about to be fucking drinking milk. Shit. Oh my god. Yo, I'm taking everything from this man. <laughs> Alright. By the time I'm done with you, you're not even gonna have a mouth left to drink milk. Let's go on over here. There we are. I didn't want to chance it on the shield, especially this close to Markarth, you know. Well I was willing to chance it though on the 90-80% of the stuff though. That I was willing to take a chance on. <laughs> Alright. These are calculated risks. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. We don't often get to see it because, you know, we don't travel too much at night. But you know what? It makes it all the more special, doesn't it? I think so. Oh, so nice. I wonder... I wonder if they'll just keep in some sort of cool-looking shit at night, right? I'm sure they'll, the Aurora Borealis will only exist here. But I'd love it if they had more cool-looking... I don't know. Effects. At night. And the night sky and all that. Maybe have more stars come out? I don't know. But yeah, I was saying, man. You know what? I'm totally expecting the old Starfield to have one heck of a skybox. Right? Jesus. Look at that. Ugh. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Like we've said, there's still- Oh, look at that! Ugh. Oh. It, just, it still holds up! It still looks good after all this time! My god, maybe I'm just an old fucking man or something now. Right? But shit, look at that. Ten years old? That's still pretty good looking, right? And granted, it's a special edition and everything, but... Fuck me. We're, Wait, we don't even have much I in the way of mods that would affect this, do we? Beyond the special edition? I don't think so. Alright. Let's head on up in here and, uh, I don't know, torture a fucking old man. <laughs> don't suppose you right? my sword. It's a beautiful night, Not perfect for torturing old, old men. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Abandoned house. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, Boethia Bob. Get ready to meet your maker, or... <laughs> I guess not. You're going. You're you're going to literally meet someone, and they're definitely not your maker, unless you're some kind of like, what are they called again? There's a specific name for them. Good God, the like, the Shattered Sisters, the sh the Sisters of Shadow. Sarana is one of them, right? I forget. It's like someone who's a vampire, by way of Molag Bal or whatever, right? Though I guess even that, that's not technically. You were made by Molech Bal. In that case, you would be a Daedra. <laughs> yeah, you would just... You, th yeah, these are called Daedra. <laughs> Molech Bal, you think you can best Boethius faithful? I have won this contest before. Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroth. What? You? 
Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Crush the spirit from Logroth's bones. Make him bend to me. Oh, this is so terrible. All right. Oh, you whooshed it into my inventory for real. I didn't even have to go around. Okay. Hey, what if I just leave? What if I just leave? Do I get killed? He gave me his fucking mace, right? I mean, granted, it's rusty and it's not really gonna do much, but it still has a, a look to it. What happens if you just leave here? We'll kill him, but let's just see. I'm curious. Smell you later, Molag Bell. Let's see. Maybe it's locked. Something like that. Once you go down this path. Oh, it's not! <laughs> you can just get out of there! Okay. Neat. I guess- I guess we better go in there, then. Let's go beat the shit out of the old man. Okay. Go on down this way. Alright. Over here. What would happen if he, like, died? Or can he not die? Is he completely invincible? Right, like if when we saw him, we freed him, but then we decide to, like, launch him off a cliff or some shit. Alright. Logroff, the willful. How about this up your butt? Ah! Oh, I missed him. Do your worst, monster. I can't hey. quite reach him. Ah! Oh, he's very far away. I'll never submit. Oh, look. <laughs> Gorbash, you got the right idea. Fuck me! Jeez, maybe finished. you should be the champion of Moloch Bow instead! Look at him go! Fuck me, he's a machine! I will. Oh. <laughs> you mortals and your frail, limp, pathetic bodies! Try it again! Oh, I forgot about this. Alright. You... You... I'm not gonna pay for anything! You're going to no die! More. No more. I submit, Molag Ball. I submit. You bend to me? Yes. You pledge your soul to me? Yes. You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia? Yes. You're mine now, Logroth. <sighs> Kill him. Kill Logroth. <sighs> ah, don't kill me. I don't want to die. Never should have died. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have. <laughs> no more. No more. <laughs> All right. Jesus. No. Not again. I feel like a fucking monster. <laughs> The mace of Molag Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Thank you, Lord Molag Bal. A mace? This is hardly a fitting prize. <laughs> Let's talk some trash. Know your place, mortal. Or Molag Bal may just send another champion to claim his mace from your broken corpse. Now, I have a soul in oblivion to claim. Take care of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the hand there, Gorbash. Should we take his shit, or should we just leave him down here? I don't know. This is... yeah. You know what? I don't really have the inventory room for it. There we go. Drink from that. <laughs> Gorbosh likes it. There we are. Okay. Jeez, we are very encumbered <laughs> once more. Mace of Molag Bal. Does 25 points of stamina damage, 25 points of magicka damage. If the target dies within 3 seconds, fills a soul gem. It's just a worse version of Bloodthorn. Or, it's a, it's a better version of Bloodthorn, I should say. 
All right. Let's see. How do we get rid of more trash here? You have a grim look. Let's do a quick trade. Fine. Let's trade then. And... How much does this thing weigh? 17 units. Eh. Okay. And then, let's sort by weight. Toss you some of that. Some of these. Oh, that'll have to do. Okay. And then, let's get rid of these. Up here. Good. To our next task. Woo! They went flying. Alright. Good. You know, I would love it if in Elder Scrolls 6 there were like some degrees of player agency there for all of these Daedra quests, right? Like maybe some of them you could betray and you would still get like a unique reward, but maybe it's not quite as good. Something along those lines, right? Because does yeah, that even exists in this game, right? With Azura Star and all that. Oh look, Boethius proving. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, we better take that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. That's how you get that. Huh, okay. I, I guess you can also go to the place in person, right? Alright. But yeah, with Azura's Star, there is... Her quest, her Daedric quest, has multiple outcomes, doesn't it? Yeah, there's at least two different outcomes with two different rewards, right? And... It, it totally gives affords you like opportunities to roleplay, right? I would love that in Elder Scrolls Six if like you could go down deep enough into like their quest line and choose to appease them or uh, upset them in some way, and you would get a different reward, right? And maybe of course if you appease them, you get the better thing. But if you if you anger a Daedric Prince, you still get whatever from them. You still get something. But maybe it's just not quite as good as it could have been. Right. And maybe it goes around a different way. Because isn't it the case here with Azura? If you anger Azura, if you if you do something that does not appease Azura, you actually get the better item. Right? Okay. Let's head on out here. And we'll speak with the Jarl. Right? You can even buy a house. Here we are. Okay. Hopefully no one goes in there to check up on that old man, right? I mean, I guess no one really did <laughs> before, right? Why Why would it change now? Just a couple of murders in there. A murder house. Okay. I like how Molag Wait, Bal's like, hey, you can I have the house now, as if Molag Bal has control over that. <laughs> Alright. Up here. I mean, shit, I don't know, maybe Molag Bal does have control over that. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I thought this was the Jarl sleeping back here. I was like, what the fuck? Just gotta take these things. Another one over here? Oh, yes, there is. Eh. I'll take that. The rest of it is not necessary. Okay, how do we get to this dude? We're here to see the Jarl. No sudden moves. Understand? Yeah. Hey, dog. Hey. Alright, back here? Must be. Oh shit, they're snoozing big time. Oh shit, what do we do? Can I just bust in there? <laughs> Maybe I can. Let's see. Oh god. Do you think the Jarl security is gonna, like, come after me? Ooh, look at all this. Surprise, Jarl! I've done it! Treat my people fairly, and I will do the same to you. The leader of Deepwood Redoubt is dead. I'm impressed. Force One usually makes short work of mercenaries, but you took care of them. Here is your reward. Oh, thank you. Do you have any more work for me? I do. A personal matter. My father died trying to negotiate with the Force One, back when that was possible. They took his shield to those Hargraven beasts they consort with. I need you to bring it home where it belongs. I warn you, it's dangerous work. No man of mine has ever faced a Hargraven and lived. I'll understand if you decline. Alright, yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> funny story, I had to fight a Hargraven at the last place he sent me to, but sure. Yeah, don't worry about me, I'll, I'll do it. Divines watch over you. Alright. 
Do I get a house yet? Can I, hey, can I have a house? Anything? No? Okay. Retrieve that shield oh, at all Getting costs. like sleepy as shit, dude. What do you got back here? Look at all this. You got a fucking waterfall in your place? Look at this. This is just garbage over here. You just got a garbage area. Okay. Weird. Maybe he comes back here to like bathe and like poop simultaneously. What a strange little house you've got. Oh look, I can just take this shit. He, d he doesn't mind. Okay. Can I sleep here? Is this house mine, actually? I could just sleep in his bed! Warrior's Charge, if I read this before? Here, I, you know what? I might want the key for later. I'll take the key to the keep. The only thing he doesn't want me to take is the fucking steel sword. Alright. Shit, I guess we're sleeping with the Jarl. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Eight hours. Lovely. <laughs> Great. It works out. Alright. Here we go. And here, I didn't think we got Good along that well. have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do you mind if I take some of this money? I could use some money. I mean, not really, but... Hey, why not? The numbers go up. You don't exactly need it yourself, being the Jarl and everything. There we are. Good. You know people in Elder Scrolls got too much money when they start putting gold inside of a fucking bowl, right? <laughs> Unless you're like some kind of rogue or whatever, right? Some kind of thief and you're hoarding shit in in like a bowl or whatever. If you're if you're just like a noble or a king or something, you know you got too much when you start putting it in a fucking bowl. There we are. Let's see. Hey, maybe the housing lord has awoken. Let's see, are they already in position? Wait, Force one have trouble to I know for too long. I intend to deal with hmm. them. Where would they even be? Maybe they're still on their way? Oh, is this one of them? One of these might be Kelselmo or something. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help her with the How force. about you? The Silver Blood. Blood family will be hurt. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Do I have a side quest for getting a house? Find Hrolf Deer's shield for Igmund. Right. That's what he just wanted me to do. Huh. Yeah, how do I get the house? That's what I fucking want. Don't bother with Tacitus. Useless. Where does she even sleep? Right? She she came out of this area? Does she have a room up in here too? Oh hey, you all. Old Warren City Rarick. underneath the keep. My yard. We need to discuss Best the force clear one. if you don't want a steam centurion carving you up. Oh, they're yelling at each other. See those storm cloaks As try his to house break Carl, into this camp. Igman security it's that is my chief concern. There are reports of forsworn here in the city. It doesn't matter if they're in the city. I've got a lot of respect for the restoration here. school. Won't have to fight them here. Skyrim could use a lot They live here years. too, my yard. That's what I'm telling you. I advise Igman the same Treat way my I people fairly, father. and I will do the Martin, same to you. Carson, Carson. Yeah, no dice if on the house. Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. I won't rest Who did we go again to, for the house? I don't even remember now. Is it this fucking guy? No. Jarl can refuse to see me all he likes. Huh. He can't ignore us forever. I don't know. Who's his, like, court wizard and shit? Is it Kalselmo? Is that his court wizard? Kalselmo, you know about this shit? Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Eh. You give an old man hope. All right. Well, you know what? When next we come back, we'll have hit up vendors and shit around here. Sell some stuff off to Calcemo. Maybe back up in town as well. All that good stuff. And you know what? Maybe we'll go, we'll go hunt down the shield. Why not? Where is it at? Let's see. Let's track it. Let's, let's take a peek. It's just a miscellaneous quest. How far could it be? Oh, look. It's not too far out here. It's right by old Rorik's dead. Okay. Good. Yeah, we'll do that. What do you think the over-under is on in on in uh, in Elder Scrolls 6 there being a an inn called New Rorikstead? What do you think the chances of that are? I feel like they're fairly uh, high. They might be up there. All right. But yeah, like I said, when next we come back, we'll have done a little bit of inventory management. Obviously, we can't do too much. Unless we want to travel out of town. Which we might do. We might do. Speaking of traveling out of town, I should be back in town 
for the next one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right. Yeah. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>